Okay, another year, another voice meter tutorial. We're going, uh, we're going banana this time. It's banana time. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep this as short, concise, to the point, give you as more information than all the other videos in less time than any other video. So I'm going to assume that you know how to download and install a software, okay? So get that done. Now we're opening voice meter, okay? A couple things before we get started that you should know. You should be following along on a mobile device. So as you're going through the process of setting up voice meter, you're going to lose audio. You will not be able to play YouTube videos so follow along on another device, whatever that is, that isn't installing voice meter on. Another thing, join the Discord. Links in the description to download it to my Discord. My own personal settings will be in the Discord server that you can download. Um, I can help troubleshooting. And also like some copy paste commands are in the description that we'll get to for the uh, the like the if this then that functionality of voice meter, which I feel like that's gonna be something that sets me apart a little bit because not a whole lot of people talk about that. You can use that as a soundboard and, and a ton of functionality. So now we'll switch over. I will drag myself down here. Okay, so here's voice meter. Here are our macro buttons that I will get to later. So we'll just start with this. We're just focusing on voice meter. Yours probably does not look like this really at all. If you haven't selected your microphone or your headphone, all you gotta do is just left click. And now we have a list, WDM, KS, MME. These are audio drivers. One of them might be de better for your computer than the others. If you start having any issues with your mic or your headphone, usually the issue is sort of crackling, pops. Just go from, okay, well I did WDM, let's try KS, let's try MME. Cycle through these audio drivers, usually one is better than the others. It might not fix the problem entirely. If you continually have issues, join the Discord and we can try to try to help you out there. First thing that we wanna do when you download voice meter is we wanna look at these buses right here, these buttons, I guess I'll say. So we have A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, across the board, we have that. Okay, so here's what it means. A1, A2, A3, these are things that you're hearing. Um, these refer to your headphones. This is sending all of your all of your audio to a speaker to a headphone. All right. So keep that in mind. You can. My softbox just died. All right. So just what we're looking at left to right. We have hardware input one. This is the microphone that you should be using. Hardware input two, an extra microphone if you're using two, and then a third mic even if you're using three. Uh, so maybe you could plug in an instrument here. Then we have our virtual inputs. So this is going to be, so this is just a cool way of separating sound. I use this to be able to have a function of making myself a music bot in Discord. So my Windows default is voice meter VAIO, but my Discord is voice meter aux. So now when I'm listening to something, I can send I can send some I can send audio through my mic just to Discord and they won't hear anything else. They won't hear themselves talking. Then we have A1, A2, A3. These are our headphones and speakers, which I'm using three of. So I'm using headphones for A1, I'm using my floor speakers for A2, and then I'm using the cable in conjunction with shadow play as a three so whatever is most important um which i would say your headphones make that a one it's going to get a quicker response time so if you're playing video games make sure you're on a one with your headphones um and then we will go back left to right setting everything up so this is the intellipan effect now we're on the voice and color panel but if you right click it you have a modulation panel which maybe you're hearing the effects of that Double click it to get rid of it. Right click, now we have the positioning panel. So maybe you're hearing the effects of that again. Double click, and then we're back to the color panel. So this is what I like. This is the, the voice and color panel. So this is just going to, I don't know, like I would describe it as putting a lot of compression onto your microphone and achieving some sort of like radio host-esque type, uh, type sound. I keep it close to the center. You don't, this is not good. This is not a good sound. This sounds terrible. This is good. Okay. This is all right. Then we have the compression. Okay. So compression is going to keep your voice. Like if you have to whisper and be quiet, it's going to keep your, it's going to boost it. Okay. So you can stay whispering, but people will hear you better. This is probably terrible. 
Gate is the exact opposite. If you have a lot of fan noise, I'll just go quiet and you can watch this. It cuts out that ambient sound. If you want to put on a little bit of a limiter, you can left click from the top and then drag down a limiter so that you won't go higher than any louder than zero. I'll leave mine at five. I definitely wouldn't want to be any louder than that. And then you can make it mono, which I do. That will usually boost your volume a little bit. Um, and I just have it. I don't know. I don't think it matters too much whether you have mono on or off. Uh, and then you can solo your microphone. So when you click that, it will mute everything else but your microphone so you don't have to individually click the mute button our virtual inputs again. So we have a little bit of an EQ that we can put onto our headphones and our speakers. So you can cut out treble or you can add treble. And again, double click to reset everything here. Um, I don't like it's, it's a real time EQ. So just listen to a song, preferably something by Daft Punk. And then just like, just fiddle around with it. See what, see what you can get out of it. Uh, Again, like usually less is more. So if you're going to like how I had this at 7.9 or 8.3, whatever, that, that's a bit much. You probably don't need something that drastic. Um, so probably I would say keep the levels between probably negative three and positive three. Otherwise, you might be getting like a little too extreme here. You might be just cranking the saturation to 100 in, in like photography terms. Um, and now this master section here. So... This is really like where everything kind of consolidates to. So we can send everything here into any one of these um, buses. I think these, so these are called buses here and then these are called strips. So if we want to send our music to B1, which is our microphone, we can click do that. Just click B1, B2. There's a lot of customizability here. If you left click to turn on an EQ and then right click to adjust it, here's an EQ. Like you can, you can do this in voice meter as well, which is super helpful. One thing that I will say you shouldn't mess with is this here, um, which I just, okay. Everything, everything, leave everything here on normal mode. You don't need to mess with that. No reason to really mess with it. I would just focus on on these strips here. Um, if I need to tweak anything, I very rarely go here, but if you like really, really want your, your mic to be loud, you can drag the fader up from here and then you can drag it up from there and then you can add the compressor all the way up. Like that would be disgusting. And now the recorder, this thing is a lot of fun. Um, I'm gonna right click it. And so this is just a nice way to record your voice and hear all the effects that are being put on your voice through voice meter. I have it saved to a document with just voice meter. I use this a ton. It can also record your desktop audio. So like we see the buttons here, A1, A2, A3. So like we've gone over, these are gonna correlate to your headphones while the B1, B2 is gonna be your microphone. So if you only wanna hear your microphone, you just turn those off, you hit record, and then you hit stop. You can hit play to listen to it, to monitor it, just like all in one all in one go, which is super nice. And if you want to actually use that audio and put it into a software, we're gonna to go to menu, and then we're gonna go eject cassette. So now you're gonna be able to release the audio file and throw it into Adobe Audition, Audacity, what have you. And let's stay in the menu section here a little bit. So part of like, okay, so must must do. These are some things that you gotta do while, while setting up voice. We have to leave it on, we have to click system tray because voice meter has to be running for it to be working. So click system tray. Now, whenever you exit out of voice meter, it will stay running. Also click run on Windows startup. Otherwise you're gonna get zero audio. I will also go into my system settings. I've made everything run at 48,000 Hertz. Here are my settings. I'm running most things through WDM and I've gotten my buffer size down to 160. So this is going to make voice meter more responsive, but there is like a cost to it, right? It's going to take more resources from your computer. If you run it at 128 samples, like I noticed that I was getting, like I was losing information in my voice. So mess around with that. So at this point, you should have voice meter all set up. All right, so on your microphone, turn off A1, A2, A3. You don't wanna be sending your, your mic to your headphones, all right? So turn that off, go to your headphones, turn off B1, B2, because you don't want to be sending your audio through your microphone. If you want to just copy these settings, go for it. Now we're going to in the, here, I'll move my, 
myself. In our taskbar, we're gonna go to the sounds. I right clicked it, we're gonna go to the sounds. And now I'm gonna go to playback. So here's what I wanna do. I'm going to make voice meter input my default. So highlight that, then set default. I'm also going to go to properties, advanced, and make sure it's on 48,000 Hertz. Go to recording, voice meter output, right click that, and then you should be able to set as default communication device. And then again, go to properties, advanced, make sure it's, it's, at, it's looking like this. So now what you've done is you've made voice meter the default application in in windows so whenever you open up a software a video game anything that needs permission to use your mic it's going to run through voice meter specifically with your headphones it's going to show up right here voice meter v-a-i-o okay so once you're listening to a video you'll see bars bumping around here one way you can use that to your advantage is like i mentioned in discord okay so in discord what one thing that you could do is you can change discord from default to voice meter aux output and aux input so by doing something like that what you're going to be able to achieve is you can listen to a song on spotify or title or, or apple music and then you can click b1 b2 and send that to to discord and they won't hear themselves talking, which is nice. So that's kind of cool. You can make yourself uh, a music bot. And while I'm here, I will scroll through my my voice settings. I'm not gonna, you know, I'll take myself off screen. I'm not going to go over this, but if you want to copy, if at any point you start having issues with your microphone, like I said, switch through WDM, MME. Also, come to Discord, come to Discord, voice settings all the way at the bottom, reset voice settings. That oftentimes fixes a lot of things. Make sure that crisp is always turned off. This noise suppression always turned off. That's disgusting. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about the macro buttons. So I'm using this just strictly as a soundboard, but it's essentially an if this, then that program. Um, if you guys are familiar, you if you're familiar, then you immediately understand the potential that can come with this. So it's a separate software that comes installed with voice meter. So we're going to what I think you have to let me see. Okay, just left click that. Now we see a bunch of buttons here, which I don't need all that. So here's what I'm going to do. I have I have one sound bite that is uh, of a snore. So first you can name the button. It doesn't matter. It's just going to show up here. You can add a keyboard shortcut to trigger it, which will show up there. You can change the color of the button. Um, and so now we have the request for button on or slash a trigger in. So you can do a lot with this. I have just decided to use it as a soundboard. So if that's what you want to do, then you would type in recorder.load equals and then in quotations, the file path of the file that you want to play. So now whenever you press alt and now whenever you press the keyboard shortcut that you selected, it will play this mp3 file or wav file whatever it can go even deeper than that it can um i think i saw like on on a tutorial on youtube someone was using it as a way to whenever their mic is is talking it will drop the volume of a video game that they're playing that's that is so cool to be able to do that if you're a streamer you can have call of duty like blasting in everyone's ear like at a proper volume but when you start talking it will drop that by like 10 decibels now your voice is cutting through is cutting through the game audio that is very cool there's a lot of potential here that is like a video in itself i don't want to go over like all the possibilities here but just that's something you can look into um it is a very very cool feature that not a whole lot of people talk about in terms of voice meter and listen i'll just take take a side step here from the tutorial nothing you're gonna do here is going to break your computer okay so feel free to mess around you don't need to ask questions like hey can i turn on the a1 button here turn it on see see what happens nothing you're gonna do is break your computer okay you can mess with things if at any point you're like i don't know what i did but something's off go to menu go to reset settings and reinitialize voice meter okay so in conjunction you could do this you can reset voice meter or you can go into the Discord, go into the, the voice meter channel, download my settings, and then just mess around as much as you want. Oh, I messed up, load load Hook's settings back in. I think that's it. I'm pretty sure I'm done. I just kind of like sat down and, and just ran through that all in one take. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was a helpful video that like really just got to the point. 
I actually think, I would argue that it's in your best interest that you like the video. I'm not even asking this for me. I'm saying for you, you guys should like this video because a lot of times people will download voice meter, they'll do their thing. And then at some point, maybe a couple days later, they're going to like, wait, I was messing around with it. I should have done this. What did I do wrong? Like the video so that future you can come back to this, join the discord, download my settings, you know, save this video somewhere because I guarantee you're going to come back to it. So do your, do your future self a favor, like this video. Merry Christmas guys. I hope everyone has had a great year. Okay. I love you guys. Text me when you're home.